Some hospitals cancel worker vaccine requirements with Biden rule tied up in courts. A number of hospitals are walking away from vaccine requirements for their staffs in the wake of court rulings that have blocked the White House's vaccine rule for many health care centers. These hospital groups include Christian Medical Center Advent Health, the Cleveland Clinic, Tenet Healthcare and Nashville-based HCA Healthcare, which together comprise more than 300 hospitals and 500,000 employees. The hospitals all said they had instituted vaccine requirements to comply with the Biden administration's directive that hospitals and medical centers that receive Medicaid or Medicare funding institute vaccine mandates. But now that the rule is being held up in court, they said they were dropping the requirements. The decisions were first reported by The Wall Street Journal. The hospital mandate, which was to be implemented by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, was one of a suite of ambitious federal rules meant to increase public safety by requiring vaccines at workplaces around the country. It was announced on the same day as a separate rule, from the Labor Department, that would have required that private businesses with at least 100 workers institute vaccine or testing requirements. Both of those rules have been held up by Republican-appointed judges, although they are still working their way through the legal system. The Supreme Court so far has rejected challenges to vaccine mandates, including a ruling Monday in which the justices declined to block New York State's stringent vaccine requirement, which does not allow for religious exemptions. The Biden administration said its medical center rule would have applied to some 17 million workers at 76,000 facilities across the country. Many hospitals have instituted vaccine requirements to adhere to rules in states like New York or California, or independently for public health reasons. Overall, it is not known what percentage of hospitals do not require vaccines for their staffs. We have seen some anecdotal reports of hospitals that have paused or rolled back their vaccine mandates in light of the legal process that is currently playing out, the American Hospital Association said in a statement. However, we do not think most hospitals are changing their mandates, but some may be choosing to mandate weekly testing or other mitigating strategies for unvaccinated workers instead. Some have also decided to no longer terminate unvaccinated staff. In other cases, hospitals have been prevented from implementing vaccine mandates because of political opposition. Ascension Healthcare, a St. Louis-based Catholic healthcare nonprofit that operates 142 hospitals, has been challenged in at least two states over a vaccine mandate it announced in late July. Oklahoma Attorney General John O'Connor issued a cease and desist letter concerning Ascension's Tulsa-based St. John's Hospital after a news report asserted that the chain had fired nurses for failing to comply with the company's mandate. In Florida, the nonprofit reversed its suspension of several healthcare professionals after the passage of a state law aimed at preventing vaccine mandates, according to a local CBS affiliate. Ascension did not respond to emailed requests for comment. Overall the number of hospitals with vaccine mandates is still growing, according to data from the IHA. It said that at least 2,640 hospitals had some form of a vaccine mandate out of 6,000 around the country, by its latest count, about 44%. That's up from about 41% in October. The healthcare industry has been battered on the front lines of the battle against a virus that has yet to fully retreat. The industry has suffered the highest numbers of worker illnesses and deaths, some 788,500 healthcare workers have fallen ill with COVID-19, and 3,030 have died, according to data from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Now, the industry has been contending with burnout and fatigue among its workforce, raising concerns about labor shortages. Vaccine requirements initially sparked worries about additional strains on staffing, but they appear to have been largely effective at coercing the large majority of workers, even vaccine-hesitant ones, to receive the shots in the places with their own requirements, like New York and California. However, many smaller hospitals in rural areas, where vaccination rates tend to be lower and staff shortages can be especially acute, have more publicly pushed back against the requirements. In a survey from late September and early October, the research firm Chartist Group found that 75% of the 130 rural hospital administrators who responded had not mandated vaccines for their staff. The results were little changed from a survey Chartist conducted in March and April. Alan Morgan, chief executive of the National Rural Health Association, said hospital administrators have been reluctant to mandate vaccinations for fear of losing critical staff. While a very high portion of physicians are vaccinated, the nurses and support staff they rely on to keep a hospital running are much less likely to get the shots. 
paramedics and ambulance drivers are a particular concern, Morgan said. Almost every single hospital physician I talk to brings up the problem of EMS staff, Morgan says. Many rural hospital administrators are concerned that implementing a vaccine mandate would quickly drain them of must-have staffers, possibly disrupting care. Some rural hospitals are determining we can't keep our doors open if we proceed with a mandate, Morgan said. Some rural hospitals are determining we can't keep our doors open if we proceed with a mandate. Matthew Mobby, co-founder of the hospital staffing firm StaffHealth.com, says his company has been fielding a wave of requests from healthcare facilities looking for vaccinated caregivers, starting in October and continuing through September. Hospitals were concerned about losing their federal funding for failing to comply with the CMS mandate, Moby said, and many of them went into crisis mode to ensure they could comply with the mandate and also sustain their operations. The mandates are also prompting hundreds of unvaccinated nurses to switch to employers that don't require the shots, Moby said, with some willing to add hours to their commutes when switching jobs. Those that don't want to get the vaccine are flocking to the facilities that don't require it, Moby said. Those that don't want to get the vaccine are flocking to the facilities that don't require it, 